Hello farmers and welcome back to American Falls. I am doing a fertilizing contract and I think it's Frank that is doing a plowing contract in field number two currently. Um, almost done there. I should be done with this here very soon as you can see. And then I'll go up there and finish up the plowing contract in field number two which does pay rather well. We are up to the month of October. Our grass field is ready to be cut once again uh, which is good. Uh, for September, I've been doing just what you're seeing here. Fertilizing contracts and plowing contracts. And that's it. But that's why our money's up to almost 60000 And it will be here in just a moment after I collect on this contract here. Uh, yep, 4000 That should put us over 60000 which is nice. Uh, would be a little bit better than that, but i got to keep buying fertilizer to do the fertilizing contracts. Uh, that's just the way it goes. So i also been keeping track of our production buildings the grain mill is still producing flour and that should be done by the end of the season uh, let me jump up to here wait field number two here we are uh, let me go ahead and we'll get rid of the worker save ourselves a little bit of cash and yeah looks like a bit of field left but actually not that much uh, this one here is going to be paying like 20 some odd grand and I did go ahead and collect on well not collect but I am taking on another plowing contract in field number 47 uh, that will pay us another 23,000 so good plowing contracts uh, there are some harvesting contracts I'm looking for one no not sugar beet I am looking for one that will but I think all those contracts may be gone where I can bring the grain to the grain mill I don't remember I think I've tried this once before now that we own the grain mill if I do a contract there and I deliver grain to the grain mill do I get all of the grain from the harvesting contract that I'm doing? Or do I, can I just get the extra? So delivering for the contract, that grain may just disappear when I put it into the grain mill. It may not actually go in. I can't remember how that works. I know I've done it before, but it's been so long I can't remember. I'm guessing the grain disappears because it would be something I would keep on doing for sure if I could. Uh, but yeah, I'm not going to worry about that too much. Uh, September, I should also mention the potato fields, if you're wondering, field number one. That contract was about $55,000 if I wanted to harvest it. If I wanted to borrow the items that it was giving me, it was like $3,500. So not too bad. I mean, uh, a lot of time would go into that harvest, of course. Uh, but overall profit, if you were borrowing items... Uh, be like just over 50 grand which is not too bad the problem is they get they're giving a small trailer for a big field like that and and doing taters and, and the delivery was on the other side of the map so field number one is in the northwest and i had it delivered down nearby the grain mill so down down in the opposite corner not the greatest of deliveries uh and that would have been a lot of trips i thought about getting like the mark thor harvester and getting the header that does it at a faster rate. The problem is the harvester to lease was like about 10 grand. And then the, the header, not that expensive, like a thousand. But then I would need a trailer as well. And of course, if I went over the hour of the leasing or harvesting, that would have been an extra hour on top of that. So probably overall like 20 grand if I were to use or at least my own equipment to do the job. So I still would have made 30000 which sounds great, but the time that it would have taken me to do it, I just didn't see like it seemed like it was worth that. I'd rather just uh, move along and just keep on doing plowing and fertilizing contracts that I can do and uh, get my money on up. So, of course, I've been using workers uh, to do the plowing jobs. I've been doing most of the fertilizing jobs, a couple of the big fields. Uh, I did hire myself a worker to do that. While I did some farm manager stuff, I've been kind of looking at stuff, uh, trying to figure out like uh, what what kind of tractor I would like to have on the farm. But uh, it's just things that they're on my wish list <laughs> because with the money situation, I think I'll be buying a lot of used stuff until the farm is making decent amount of money and we have enough of our own fields to where I'm just doing mostly work in our own fields because I I know a lot of you just like to see us work in our own farming uh, fields rather than doing contracts which you know that's fine uh, yeah so once we get to the farm is pretty much stable and I can afford to get stuff that I'm looking forward to having uh, it's, it's nice to go into the shop and just uh, look at some things 
like I said, I think I want to have eventually, as for the big tracker, a Fent. Uh, maybe the Vario 1000. Uh, been a while since I used that. So, maybe. Actually, I don't know if I even use it at all in FS22. I mean, I've used some fence, but not the 1000, I don't think. Oh, this contract is complete? You're happy with uh, where we're at? Perfect. Well, then I'm happy. Uh, let's go ahead and fold this up. Let's go ahead and collect on that contract for 22197 Perfect. Uh, like I said, uh, maybe I should take on this other one. I mean, I'm not going to do it now, but it does pay 6000 I will accept it. There we go. So it's up there. So we got two more plowing contracts to do. But I need the Landini for the next job, which is mowing our grass field. So let's go ahead and get out of here if I can remember how I got in here. It looks like the river has risen some. Um, can't quite tell. I, I, it's one of those things where I keep looking out for it, but then I keep forgetting where the water level was previously. I can't tell if the water level is high enough or not. Yeah, this is uh, the way I wanted to go. Turn right here. And this will bring us right past the... I guess I can call it the main farm, the original one I thought I was going to buy, and I haven't yet. Um, distant future-wise, we'll probably have it. But let's go drop off the plow. So, wow, we're up to 84000 Of course, once I get the other contracts done, I'll be over hundred grand. i am really should be saving up for, I don't know what field number it is, but the one I've been talking about buying, that's like $180,000. Uh, I did notice that the NPC farmer has put wheat into that field, which is fine by me. Uh, we can take the wheat and feed that to the chickens uh, and the ducks, or make it into flour. We can uh, easily do that. And by the way, in case I didn't mention that we still got about 20,000 liters of sorghum to be processed into flour. The rest have been has been made. I had to move the pallets out of the spawn area because I was getting too much and we were almost uh, full in storage. So I did go down there and move the pallets out of the way. Uh, but that will be sold in January. Uh, the silage, we're still making... Yeah, the, the, the fermenting silo, uh, you know, is doing its job the way it's supposed to. Uh, but it does take a while. We're still fermenting the grass that I put in there three months ago. But it's getting through it. And, you know, I'm, it's one of those things, like I've said, I'm not in a rush. Because that won't be sold until December slash January. Um, which is fine. But the amount of grass I'm going to be putting in there this in-game month. I'm not sure that will be done by the time it comes to sell the silage. But what is done is what is done. All right, what I need to do now is head on down to the store. We need to lease the mowers that we did before. Oh, that's where some of my money went. My, my, that's where some of my money went. I, I was going down to the store. I'm like, while we're there, I need to fix this tractor. Uh, but I see the tractor's been fixed. I think the course play worker, because I have it on settings, to where if the wear and tear gets down to a certain point, they repair it. Uh, it was pretty far down there, so... Uh, I was like, I, I lost like five, six thousand dollars somewhere. Yeah, they repaired the Landini. I mean, either they repair it or I repair it. I guess it doesn't really matter. So <laughs> as long as it gets repaired, that's one way of doing it. So the grass field will be on our left here. Which I think I've already, uh, no, I haven't gone by it yet. Not just yet, it's after the house. mold that grass quickly and then maybe I'll start picking it up today we'll see if I got some time and yeah, this is the field right here I'm looking at buying next that is 180,000 I could expand on that field just a little bit as well but it does have wheat into it uh, the good thing is if I can buy it throughout the winter I think the wheat will only be in the first growth stage so I should be able to get it in there with the soil sampler and then uh, we can put some lime down and then of course any fertilizer it may need and that way when it comes time to harvest it next summer or late summer early autumn uh, we should have a pretty good yield and again I did go ahead and look 
at the expected yield rate for that lot of land. And in case I haven't shown it to you, if I go, got to scroll on down to, where are we here? Uh, right here. That's where we need to be. And if I go to farmlands and I click on lot number 54, we can see the expected yield, yield is 115. Compare that to our grass field, which is a 112, and our sorghum field, which is a 112. 115, that, that, that's uh, pretty darn good. All right, we got to come in here and grab our mowers. And let's see, I was using the Pottinger set. So let's go ahead and lease that. It's kind of expensive, but you know what? 4,000 uh, for that. And then lease this for, yeah, it's like 4,500 in total to lease this. But the amount of grass we're getting off the field made into silage. We, we make the money back on it. At some point, we'll have, of course, our own mowers, but it'll take a while. Now, I was trying to see how I want to do this, and I think this will work. Uh, I probably need some silage additive for the forge, har uh, almost said forge harvester, uh, forge wagon. Let's go ahead and put that on the roof, the silage additive. That stuff cannot weigh that much, so I think the roof of the Landini can handle it. Just got to be careful taking my corner so it doesn't come flying off the tractor. And I'll put this up by the grass field so when I go to pick it up, the grass, I can top off the uh, wagon with some silage additive. That does add, well, the game says it adds 5% to whatever you're picking up. So uh, at one point, as we found out or some people tested, it wasn't doing anything. But about a year ago, I think Giants went ahead and fixed that. Now, while I'm down here, I'm going to top this off with fuel. I like the fuel pumps here on American Falls. Nice and quick. Let me go ahead and put the silage additive over here by this tree. Make sure I got the silage additive and not not the tractor. We don't want the tractor going flying anywhere. Now let's go ahead and put that down. Uh, let me get of course the car came out of nowhere. That is on widespread, which we do not want. We want that on swath dropping. No, and then didn't change it. Okay, just want to make sure you didn't change the setting on me. Accidentally dropped it, which I did not want to do. And away we go, harvesting our grass field once again. Yeah, and the Landini will have to do the forge wagon as well. Yeah, the Voltra just doesn't quite have the power behind it to do a lot of the heavy stuff, but it wasn't meant to do so. Uh, that is there pretty much just to do fertilizing contracts and eventually some things around the farm. I don't know what yet, but it's it's that's all it's really around for. I mean, that was our first track, and eventually we got ourselves to Landini, which allows us to do some plowing contracts, and now, of course, to do some mowing as well. Now, we can bring in some money, as I mentioned, up by the uh, chicken pen. We got a good amount of spruce and pine trees up there. So, we'll probably cut those down like we did on this lot right here. We'll drag them on down to be sold. Instead of uh, dragging the whole tree as one log, I'll probably cut them up in sections. And because uh, I mean, I was dragging one tree down, but I think it'd be better if I still drag the one tree down, but it'll be like in two or three sections, depending on how tall the tree is.
I should have double checked while I was looking at the stock market page uh, just before I started recording. And I was trying to remember before we brought the sorghum down to be made into flour. I want to say I thought it said I was going to make about 60 grand off the sorghum. So by turning it into flour and making flour out of it, I should earn more money that way. But currently, looking at what the flour value is, it doesn't seem that high. And also, making sorghum into flour, we actually get more flour than what we put in for sorghum. So we actually get more liters of flour than the amount of liters we put in for sorghum. We'll have a look once I get done mowing up this grass. Exactly what's going on down there. We'll take a trip down there as well. We got a good number of pallets to be sold. And without a telehandler, um, I think that was something that we'll be auto-loading. Because I got more pallets down there than I thought it would have already. Which is a good thing. Uh, the more pallets, the better. So I have been keeping my eye on the store page. Uh, I really shouldn't be doing that because getting the land I think is more important currently than getting some equipment, but it's hard to pass up something that's for sale that costs like $400,000 and 60% off. I mean, you're saving yourself 200 grand that way. I mean, actually, actually more than that, 60% off. But you know what I'm saying. Um, in the early stages, saving that much money on a tractor or like the combine that we have. Sure, we only use the combine for a couple of fields this uh, first year. But instead of paying 450000 for the combine, we got it for like one eighty. That couple hundred thousand dollars is a lot. We only have one or two fields. And you don't have that much for income currently. That's why turning this into a grass field. Originally, when we bought this field, I was going to plant oats. And I was like, you know what? I'm just going to get one harvest on it. Um, yeah, I'll make some money off the oats. But I think if we go ahead and do grass, at least the first year, which this is the first year we've had this field, we'll get two cuts. And this is the second cut. And we can turn it into silage. I'll probably make more that way. And of course, in the future, when we have our cows and probably sheep, you know, we'll take this grass field and, uh, you know, we'll keep making silage, but to feed the cows. And also, we'll send some, uh, I don't know on this map with that pen if the sheep take grass or hay or can they take both. Uh, don't know. And I also wanted, I haven't, uh, I just remembered when I came on here because I was thinking about it. Um, I think the sheep pen on this map probably take goats. And the reason why I say that, and maybe it's because I got the enhanced animal mod on here, but there is goat milk. Uh, so that could be something that we could be putting in the sheep pen. Some sheep and some goats. But that might be a year or two away before we get that far. So we do know that the first harvest off this field, we got a quarter of a million liters of grass. I should roughly get to about the same. I mean, the fertilizer, this field did get fertilized. Uh, the pH value is going to drop a little bit because I didn't uh, put lime back down. So it's not perfect on the lime. It's down a little bit. But what I do know is it's been three months since we harvested this grass. And the fermenting silo has not gone through that grass we put in there yet. Which means when I put this grass into the silo, it's not going to ferment this grass in three months. And let's see, we got November, December. Yeah, you know, we're, we're like two and a half months away in selling silage. So 
this grass here, not all of it's going to be turned into uh, silage by the time it comes to sell. So part of me starts to think, I wish I kind of kept a silo bunker, because I could have put it in there, I could have compacted it, covered it, and within a month, that would be all silage and it'd be good to go. Kind of like what we did on Goldcrest Valley, then of course I'd have to get myself a belt, and then of course, uh, you know, load it into the trailer like we normally did. Uh, but at least with the silo, I don't need the belt, I can just drive up underneath it, at least I think I should be able to load the silage that way and take it to wherever we got to take it. I did see someone didn't mention though that I probably should get a couple of grass fields and make silage out of it. I mean, yeah, silage is the way in some sense to make money because you, I mean, you get three cuts on a grass field per year, so that's why silage is kind of the way to go uh, but as for watching me cut grass all the time we've been through this conversation before <laughs> I, I don't want to be cutting grass every other episode although it is a nice way to make money I like to change the jobs up at least every episode that's why I did like all the contracts uh, in the month of September I didn't bother recording any of that because it's just been it was just me plowing and fertilizing, which we've seen a lot of already in this series. So I was like, yeah, I'll just do these contracts. I'll put on some music, do some contracts, get the money up. It, it was it was hard not to pass them up. I thought about just skipping the month of S September completely. Uh, but when you got contracts that are paying you 20 grand, it's like, well, uh, we need the money. So <laughs> I'm going to do it. Because in case you forgot, at the end of the last episode, we were down to about three grand after we bought the grain mill. A couple more passes, and then uh, the mowers can be returned. And then this grass field will not be touched again probably until May or June. Probably May is most likely. Possibly April. I think it's going to be April. All right, perfect. Maybe not perfect, but well done. Uh, let's go ahead and return the mowers. Oh yeah, and by the way, for sale, there are a couple of things in here that are interesting. Uh, balers, we don't need to bale up the grass, not currently. We will have a baler, of course, in the distant future. A wheel loader, um, not sure what I would need that for. Uh, nothing I'm gonna buy, of course, but just interesting things that we'll need in the future. Maybe a wheel load, I don't know. And uh, nothing else there. Yeah, I th originally I thought it was about doing grapes on this series, but then I just keep flashing back and thinking, yeah, it's just, it just that seemed like a lot of work and not getting much in return on them. Unless the uh, giants have changed that a little bit. Yeah, it just didn't seem like grapes and olives were really worth it. I know there's now some mods out there for harvesting and all that, so you don't have to spend a lot of money on the equipment. Uh, there is a cheaper options out there. But that'll be something if I do get into grapes or olives. Uh, more than likely grapes. If I were to do either or probably get into grapes. Uh, it's going to be way on down the line here on American Falls. Alright, so now we're going back to the farmyard to get the forage wagon. And we'll pick up some grass and bring it on back and dump it into the silo. Uh, I mean, eventually, once we get other farms, you know, I probably could, not that I want to now because they are expensive, I may not actually have to buy the land to buy the silo, right? Or do I need to buy the land to buy the silo? 
I mean, technically, they are just production buildings, so I would assume if I go over to the cow farm, which is right behind us, I could probably buy that fermenting silo and put some grass in there, and that'll just, uh, you know, help us produce more silage. I will stop there on the way back. I mean, we're going right by there just to see if I can buy it. I'm not going to. Like I said, I want to save the money up for that wheat field. A silage additive, I'm down to 40%. If I were to come, let me turn on the helper menu. If I come over here, yeah, buy production point. And it is 60,000. So you can buy it without having to buy the land. But that's something that uh, we don't need to be doing currently. go up here and start picking up our grass fresh grass for the fermenting silo but we will top off our silage additive and I will have to get some more or refill this when I get almost done I'm only going to pick up a little bit of this now because I want to get the Landini back on the plowing contracts. I want to get those done before the game, for some reason, takes them off. This forge wagon we did buy on the sale market. And I thought it's going to be plenty big enough. But little did I know, I fill up that quick. <laughs> we already got 23,000 liters. And of course, easy math if we do get a quarter of a million liters, which is 250,000, that's 10 trips back and forth. But luckily, the farm is just right here. Not, not this one, but. Our farm is just right over there. Well, I'll get a couple loads now, and then I'll get the rest later on. I did have a quick look today at the Giants Mod Hub and the test list. And unfortunately so far I don't see American Falls back on the test list yet. It will come eventually. I do see Stone Valley is on the test list which is made by the same modder, Lancy Boy. So if Stone Valley is on the test list maybe American Falls is nearing the test list. And I'm looking forward to it just for uh, currently. I mean, there should be some fixes on some fences around. And of course, uh, the one thing I'm looking forward to getting back into is the vegetables from the premium expansion. I'm not sure, though, because if you, if you saw the Zalanka short series that we did, 
which was pretty much just me just testing out the vegetable stuff and all that. I'm still not sure if that price on the beet, uh, was it the soups or the canned beets that were worth so much more than every, anything else. So I'm trying to think that something there didn't seem right. But I mean, if those prices are consistent when they come here, I'll definitely be uh, planting some beets in the field and get some beet production going. And we'll make some good money that way. I don't think the Voltra is going to be able to handle this forge wagon, but I could give it a go. I mean, I think it will do okay. Actually, it should tell me uh, forge, uh, let's see here. Oh, it only requires 95 horsepower? And the Vulture is 125? 105. Well, I mean, it will do fine-ish. Uh, as long as the Vulture is fully repaired, which means we got all the horsepower that it can put out. Um, I think I'll get it done, so... Yeah, I can put the Landini on those plowing contracts and I can come back over here with the Voltra and putter along and slowly pick up this grass. Like I said, it's not a rush to get it in there because there's already a good amount of grass still that needs to be fermented in the production building. So, you know, rushing to get it in there is not that big of a deal. But at least now I got almost two trips done here. There we go. Second load done. About eight more to go. Maybe nine. And once I get those other two plowing contracts done, I should be over a hundred grand back in the bank account that quickly. Well, I say that quickly. Uh... I've been doing contracts today for, let's see, how long have I been on the map currently for? Ooh, I've been on here three hours? Okay. Uh, so that's taken a while. Didn't seem like I was on, I've been playing tonight for three hours, uh, doing contracts and such. Watch out for the pole. I mean, I will admit, a couple times, like I said, all the plowing contracts were done by a worker, and a couple of the fertilizing contracts, the bigger fields were done by a worker. And I got up a couple times and got went and got myself a drink, walked around the house, uh, and then came back and looked to see how the workers were doing. But that just means I'm having fun. If it doesn't seem, you know, the old saying, "Time flies by when you're having fun." So uh, I'm excited to get the money back in to be able to buy more land. So, I mean, currently we got two fields, the grass field and, well, the sorghum field, as we did. But it would be good to have a third field. I mean, it would be good to have a lot more than that. But uh, now we're starting, once you get up that many, now we're starting to get up to where we can have a good amount of work to do on our own fields. And profit more on that. Alright, i got to double check to see where I'm going. Uh, bigger field first. Uh, 47. That is over here somewhere. Where's 47? Is it not over here? Oh, up in the corner. Okay. So, I don't think I got that harvesting contract. Uh, wait, 47. I gotta go this way. So, that was some flowers. I don't think that came up as a harvesting contract. Oh, yeah, and as for the chickens and ducks, there's still chicks and ducklings, I do believe. Yeah, I don't see, as you, as you probably saw, they're kind of small, but if you did miss it, I'll, I'll wander in here just for a second. And they should still have, where's their feed trough? Well, there's a duck, there's a duckling right there. And, of course, uh, oh, here's the feed trough right there. Now yeah, they still got some feet in there, sorghum. Another duckling, another duckling. Oh, there's a chick. Right there. 
Now, we do have a full pen, which is only 30 birds, but do remember, not that it's going to bring in a whole bunch of cash that way either, uh, we are running the enhanced animal mods, so they still will reproduce once they get old enough, and the extra animals will be sold, but I mean, it, it's birds, so we're not going to have a whole bunch of money coming on in, but it'll be something. And really, they're just there because it's a farm, uh, they're here, uh, we have them. <laughs> That's the reason why they're there. All right, uh, create job, and you go that way. Uh, three headlands, three, uh, everything looks good there. Generate cores. I think the plow needs to be repaired. Oh, it looks like uh, Francine's in there, so we are all set to go. Uh, let me grab the Voltra. Uh, the Voltra does need repair, so I think we'll stop by the workshop on the way back. And actually, I think this was semi-repaired by a course play worker, because I thought the repair status was a lot lower than that before. And then we'll swing by the grain mill just so you can see the amount of flour we got sitting outside. I mean, you've been playing long enough, you know what the flour looks like, but I will show you uh, what's going on there. Remember, the repair section is right in front of the big door, which makes sense. You know what would be kind of cool is if the door would open when the store opens. Um, how much to repair that? Eight ninety. We'll repair it. And of course, the tractor. Ah, so that what the tractor was repaired. The repair size looks that bad because of the spreader that was on there. So the tractor was repaired at some point. And I do know there is a mod out there that allows you to see each individual item implement that is on the tractor. So like in the bottom right hand corner, it would have different uh, sections to tell you the repair status of each individual implement. All right, watch out for the train here. I don't see it coming, so we're good. It's going to happen at one of these points to where... Uh, I think I could have went there, but... Nope, here's where I want to go. Uh, yeah, at some point I'm going to get hit by that train, because the train goes through before the barriers come down. So if you come out back here... There's all the pallets of flour that we currently got. I moved them out this morning because we were full. And currently, let's see how we're doing here. Yeah, so there's our silage. And that's how much grass we still got to process. And of course, I'm going to be putting in a lot more. Uh, the oats we've already made on the flour. So I still got uh, 23,000 liters of sorghum to be processed. And if I go to the stock market page, currently we got about uh, $34,000 worth of silage and $25,000 worth of flour. Uh, but we should be bringing, of course, a little bit more on the sorghum because that's still being processed. Yeah, I thought, I, I, I got to double check on this where someone can leave a comment down below if you're, you remember. I think I did check on the sorghum and what the max value was going to be. If I sold the sorghum, I said, well, if you make it into flour, we should make more because it's almost worth $700 compared to $524. And we make this a little bit more flour than the amount of sorghum we put into. So we should make more in flour than if we were making the sorghum. That's the whole point. Um, but currently, the way it's looking, I must have... Maybe it was only $30,000 worth of sorghum I had. Maybe that was it. Maybe we had 60,000 liters of sorghum worth 30,000. That's probably more likely at this point. All right, well, you know what? I topped off the Leandini with fuel. I'm kind of going by here. It's not going to cost me too much. 
and you can kind of do like a drive-by like I do in SnowRunner. Quickly fueled up, $82. Uh, let me go drop off the fertilizer spreader at the farm. I'm going to go grab the forge wagon, and let's see if this thing can... Uh, I mean, I think it's going to work, but I think it may struggle just a bit. All right, drop off the fertilizer spreader. All right, let's go see how this... Yeah, I don't think it's going to do that well, honestly. Just, just by getting up and going with nothing in it, it was kind of like, oh, okay, I can do it, but it's going to take me a moment kind of a thing. Good news is we're already 20% done with plowing field number 47. Uh, you know what? Let's cut across here. And that's our sorghum field to the left. I actually thought about plowing it just to kind of keep it more realistic. As farmers told me when I was doing Solyndra... We were doing a whole bunch of sorghum there for the horses that, uh, yeah, the stocks would be probably too high for a direct drill to really uh, take care of that whole situation. Uh, if I go this way... I mean, I could drive right across the farmer's fields. But it's trying to get into good habits of not doing that. Uh, but yeah, uh, plowing up that field, uh, uh, you know, direct drill, as, as far as the game is concerned, I don't, you know, if I go in there with a the direct drill, it'll be just fine. Um, but to try to keep it somewhat realistic, maybe I should go in there and plow it to knock down the stocks. And maybe uh, I will do that when winter comes and uh, I'm not doing plowing contracts because, I mean, the Landini is currently the, the major workhorse on the farm. I mean, the ball trade, of course, does work, but it's just fertilizing work, and of course, now currently uh, picking up grass, which it's doing decently currently. All right, so it's doing better than I thought it would after I left the farmyard because it hesitated at the farmyard on the get up and go, but uh, I'm getting work done, and the Landini's getting work done. Yeah, as it gets fuller, though, the Vulture is not really too happy about it. But like I said, work is getting done here. Oh, we are full. We are full. So, not too bad. Uh, yeah, so, let, you know, by the beginning of next episode, um, I should have a couple of these contracts done. That's like 30 grand ish somewhere around there. Uh, I am looking, like I said, if I, if I see a harvesting contract come up for going to the grain mill, I will probably take it no matter what the price is, because I want to see, do I get all the grain or just the extra grain? And if anyone has tried it before and knows the answer on American falls, because I think that might be a modded grain mill. I'm not too sure. Do I get all of the grain or just the extra grain? Uh, like I said, I think I've done it before myself somewhere and I can't remember where, but I think we just get the extra grain. You don't get all the grain that you put in, uh, but I could be wrong on that. But that's why I want to try it one more time. So Francine is plowing field number 47 and she's got a good amount left to do. Um, I have noticed field number 48 is ready for harvest, but that contract is not coming up and pretty much. I think that's going to be about... Yeah, I don't think there's any other... Uh, what's in field number four? That's corn, right? That's corn. I think that's corn, corn. Corn, corn. Uh, and that's sunflowers down here. So, yeah, I don't think... Actually, if I look at the calendar... Uh, let's see. Corn, sunflowers, soybeans, sugar beet, sugar cane. Yeah, so the crops I'm looking for... 
are not going to be made uh, brought on down to the grain mill. So that's not going to happen for me. So that won't be done. But uh, I'm going to keep on picking up this grass. Uh, get it all put into this fermenting silo. Get the two plowing contracts done. And then, uh, yeah, I, I don't know what we'll be doing right away. But, of course, uh, any good contracts come up, I'll go ahead and do them. But I think uh, with the winter coming up, we're going to be looking down, cutting down the trees up by the chicken pen. And, of course, once we get enough money, we'll buy the wheat field, which is down the road a little bit, as I showed you. And then, of course, once we do buy that, we got to go ahead and soil sample it, uh, put some lime into it, I'm sure, and probably even put some fertilizer into it as well. But uh, we'll see. Uh, that will do it for today, guys. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the episode. I do appreciate you watching, as always. And I'll catch you again right here in American Falls. But until then, have a good one.